Well, Derek, th- th- there's a, a special thing we have to talk about, which is the the reissue, remaster, and I believe to a certain extent, remix Civilian. Is that is that right? It, well, it's not re- Well, one song was remixed, uh, Heroes No More, uh, which was not on the, f- the final album, but it's a remastered uh, album, which, you know, was completely, um, not completely, but kind of, you know, hidden in our repertoire and on the radar for a long time. A lot of fans who heard that, who, who knew that album, thought that we, we, were, we were kind of selling out, if you like, and, and um, doing something that we should not be doing. Well, you know, I, I, I disagree, and I disagreed then. Uh, I disagree I, you know, as well. Just from the fan perspective, let me tell you this. I put it up against what's going on in 1980, and I call it being competitive. Yeah, okay. that's exactly what. Yeah, exactly what it, I think it was. However, you know, um, because of circumstances, you know, we we didn't get the airplay, which, because, as you said, which is very important, and radio had changed by then to playing the singles from the album. So yes, and Genesis had singles, ELP had singles. But what about ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba 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 da? But that's not a single. Apparently not. It wasn't. You know, we weren't deemed. You know, we tried to, we tried to sort of like kowtow to to a certain degree to to American radio. But honestly, we couldn't. We couldn't. We couldn't get on the air. And thank God we couldn't, because I know what happens when a single defines you in the, my first group. Uh, so in in some ways, you know, it, it was. A shame that that it didn't happen, and it was the last album. But I think the album turned out really, really well. It's one of my favorites, actually. Um, I and I think, album. yeah, well, I, I I do too. And I think that the now the, the time is right for the public and and the the people who know General Giant to actually hear it and hear it with a different kind of vision and hear it with a different kind of viewpoint. Um, and I, I still think like Inside Out was one of our best songs ever. Best you know, song, one of the best songs ever of the band stands up there with with uh, interview with uh, another show. I think it's it's rocking giant. It's just really really heavy, but it's also complex and and rich. And why we come back to these things and there's something still there for us to hear. Well, that, that's that's why we th- we thought it was a, a good idea to re-release it as it were because it wasn't released in any real fashion. By Columbia, because we were getting, we were getting, uh, we weren't hitting the radio stations like Odor of a Lonely Heart or 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 Genesis hits or whatever it is, and it was really you know the, that was time to say okay, Gentle Giant, you know, you know we we did, we couldn't have a hit song, and I, and in fact in certain respects, I, I shouldn't say this, but I'm going to say this. I'm glad we didn't, because it was it was the right time to stop. Uh, and I didn't, you know, we would have probably continued if had we had something which blew up and, and then we probably would have gotten into things that other bands of our era started to become. And I, I, one thing I would never wanted to be, and I think any of us wanted to be, was a, was, um, a parody about what we were, you know, to do the same thing. And, and as you get older, you know, put on the weight and put your spandex on and, and, <laughs> It looked, it looked like, uh, you know, something that you used to be rather than rather than who you are now. So in one, one, one respect, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a shame that we didn't have the big hit. But in other ways, I'm glad in retrospect that we didn't. So we could talk about this with a different viewpoint. I mean, and I am glad to say that I saw the civilian tour, which was the last New York show of Gentle Giant at the Palladium. And it was opening band was David Sanchez duet with Ernest Carter. And then Giant came on and played a very powerful set, which still included things like Freehand. And I think Advent of Panerge on the last tour, there was there's stuff in there. So the, the best stuff is still happening. The band is still a great live band. I mean, the power of that rhythm section of John and Ray. Oh, none better. Honestly. I, I, I could say this as as the guy who was in front of, in front of the group. There was not, there, I, honestly, I was I was uh, incredibly um, grateful to have musicians 
of Carrie and Ray and John and Gary were behind me. They were just the best and still are. I mean, just genius musicians. Carrie is a, is a genius. Genius. Uh, and uh, Ray, I mean, we, we all, and we all fitted together. So, um, you know. It's always funny for me to think about the Carrie Ray composition thing because some of the most dissonant stuff seems to come from Ray. Like, isn't so sincere Ray? No, that's Carrie. That's Carrie. Yeah, that's Carrie's. That's Carrie's percussion. Oh, uh, he's remember he has a composition in percussion. Yes, 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 yes. yes. So, so I mean, if you listen to that song, I mean, it's well, it's, it's, that's what it is. It's a percussion. There's no. Uh, there are no nothing else on that track apart from percussive instruments. No, no, I'm so, so sincere. Yeah, so sincere. The strings. Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking about another. another yeah, that was a. That's design is is the one that's all carried. No, right? no, there's another one um, on in the glass house. Inmates lullaby. Okay, thank you. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, those are um, great. Uh, I think that was a combination. That was a, that was um, a combination of all three of us. Uh, so sincere. I think we, you know, there was a, the first part was Carrie, and then I think uh, that was. I think Ray and Carrie came up, and I came up with a couple of things on that that track. That was one of the several times we all got together with our various parts. That's what it sounds like, dissonant parts, and threw it all together and, and stirred it up and put it on a plate and said, this is it. It's a marvel for me. When I think of when it gets going, you have the da 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 and then the, the, the vocals are just so sin. Yeah. Sir. I mean. Yeah, and, and, and John playing that da 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 Yeah. You know. Yeah, we, we talked about it because I, as a drummer, I said to him, so did you come up with that? No, that was Raymond. That was Raymond. And I had to go work on it. That was actually damn hard to play. You know, that was really, okay, John, let's get, give it, do it that. You know, and that was, you know, John did actually go up, let me work on this one. Never, this miss, never missed it. No, never did. No. I mean, when he got it, it was like on the money every time. Unbelievable. And, you know, uh, I think that I challenge my listeners and my gentle giant friends and fans out there to, to listen to Civilian in the context of 1980. Not so much as that gentle giant's end piece, but it comes out and, and I like these kinds of lists. So indulge me for a second. Rush Permanent Waves, 1980. Yes, Drama. XTC Black Sea. Genesis Duke, Kate Bush, Never Forever, Police Zenyatta Mondata, Captain Beefheart Doc at the Radar Station, Peter Gabriel Melt, Squeeze Argy Bargy, Cure 16 Seconds, Adam and the Ants Wild Frontier, Devo Freedom of Choice, Stone's Emotional Rescue, Blizzard of Oz, U2 Boy, Stevie Wonder Hotter Than July, B-52's Wild Planet, Oh No Lennon Double Fantasy, Gaucho by Steely Dan, Motorhead's Ace of Spades shows up, Bob Marley's Ending uh, Uprising, Springsteen the River, Bowie's Scary Monsters, First Pretenders, ACDC Back in Black, Remain in Light Talking Heads, Prince Dirty Mind, Clash London Calling. That's when, that's when civilian is hitting. And I have to say, put it up against drama. I dare you. I mean, it's it's got it all. In fact, if you don't, as a giant fan, if you don't check out Shadows on the Street. That's a great time. Yeah, Carrie, that's, you know, I, I, as I said, I, I think that this album has been, very undersung uh, and under underrated, if you like. Uh, and um, now I think the fans of your and, and new fans can at least have a, a chance to listen to what we were going go, going getting into. Um, had we again, you you can't somehow you do you can't do a Monday morning quarterback thing um, because we knew you know after 
doing it and we said that this is going to be it um it was yeah the last album uh but it was a damn good one it was you know it was it was, it was really well 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 engineered and produced and we had we got jeff emmerich to come over and jeff was a beatles engineer and in fact as a kind of a, a sidebar um jeff was our very first engineer on the very first recording that me and my brothers put together as simon dupree and he was the engineer for our very last recording so that's that's kind of almost like a bookend in itself and he recently passed did he not yeah yeah unfortunately yeah a couple of years ago yeah but what a great uh part of music history he was recorded music history because he's there for all that beatles stuff oh, yeah. and then he, then does he bring that to kites is he on kites yeah <laughs> yes wow. yeah so you know that as well okay that was the, the, yeah, the, the couple of big hits we had, that was a gigantic, still, still, a, it's still a very popular song, yeah. even today in England. I mean, in England. It's well, it's identifiable with the, that time period in such a beautiful you know, psych way. Psychedelia stuff. And yeah. That's uh, part of my life. What, what can I tell you? I, no, I, no, I, that... I, I, I'm almost finished my book, so uh, you'll read about it next year. Oh, there's going to be a book. I, I, I've, I've written a book, yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. What's it called? About, I have no title yet. So anyone listening uh, can, can throw in their ideas and, and I'll listen to them for sure. Wow. Well, if you ever need eyes on, on any of that stuff, I'd love to see it before well, you put it out. But yeah. but that's great because, you know, that that the fact that the giant went out, I think went out in a really classy way. Uh, if people weren't happy with giant for a day, I think that on a level of interview, this is what you're getting with civilian. Yeah, it, it's again, a lean, I think mean so giant, you know. Yeah, yeah, you know. Again, you, and again, you can if you stay in one place. This is, you know, you, personally, professionally, musically, etc. Um, then you, then you, then you become stale. You know, you yeah, a band. Let's talk about the bands you just discussed. I mean, yes, or ELP. If they did, you know, trilogy. 20 times it would be the same damn album who wants to hear the same album all the time the same riffs the same kind of ideas you know no matter who you are you've got to move on you do move on the years pass the clock ticks so you know you move on with other things that will influence you from outside or inside so that's that's called progressive and, so. and, and in fact the new progressive you know, sorry dude, for me yeah. actually is very interesting about for gentle giant which is a, a really interesting sidebar because uh, we're working with someone who was very well known. Um, is the the hip hop world um, has I think there's some incredible, unbelievable uh, musicality in some of the hip hop world because they take li little bits and pieces of un of, of quirky songs and twist them around so they sound really bizarre and you know, obviously the the hip hop and the rap. Uh, is a, is is the lyric lyrical content is important, but what they do musically with these little twists, and especially of General Giant, we become very popular in the hip hop world because we did little twists and turns, <laughs> and they love it. You know, in fact, uh, last year we had a, three number one records on three and uh, three albums. Um, Tell our listeners Jewel. what's being sampled. Well, on Run the Jewels, uh, on um, they had a song called. Um, Oh, legend has it, and that was a, that was a lead track on uh, the Black Panther track, um, and then Tribe Called Quest. Uh, that that was uh, that was sampled. Knots, I think Knots was sampled on that one. Uh, Tribe Called Quest sampled. Um, damn, I can't remember. Oh, that's right. Black Panther has Knots vocal in it. Yeah, oh. that was Run the Jewels, and they And we, I, I met them. I mean, I, I saw that they're hugely popular. Yes, they are. Uh, and and um, yeah, I went to a, a couple of shows and, and saw Killer Mike and LPS of Man. This, and they were like, and they, they were playing to a huge crowd. They play in the gardens uh, next next week or, or next month. Um, and they were like, to me, I'm not worthy. You know, to me. And I'm, I'm, I'm saying, man, this what you've done is great. And they're, they're like, we know everything you've done. And it's it's really bizarre. And I think it's, that's, that's incredibly gratifying to to all of us, I think, you know, even you know, someone like Questlove, 
I mean, I had to go backstage because uh, I run uh, in my work. I, I also run other, do other things. And I brought Anne Wilson backstage apart uh, a couple of years ago. And um, when the music, musical director uh, heard that my name was mentioned, she said, this is a, are you Derek Sean from the group? I uh, said, so yeah, but I bring Ann Wilson to sing with the roots. They said, hold on a minute. And they all came out. <laughs> and I actually had albums that I had to autograph. I mean, that, it, you know, it, it's Amir and the keyboard player. And the, they were like the same thing. That, uh, what is, what's going on here? This is a, a twist of, of fate, of, of whatever. But again, I think it's, it's interesting that this world has embraced gentle giant you know I'm, I'm that that is really gratifying to me you know what as a historian though derek i have to say great art transcends time i think you're right I, well, I'm not, that's not from from you know any ego perspective no. I, think, I, I believe you're right i think it does what you put the work in you put the detail in you did your own thing you went your own way you know how much that means to us I well, mean, all, I yeah. mean, for better or worse, we've we've had successes and 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 you know we've died on on our own blade, but we've at least done our own music because yeah. of guys like you who said we're going to do this our way, take it or leave it, and you know uh, we're going to try to always be creative. We're going to try to grow. You guys were a model for us. Well, well, I appreciate that, and I think that's that's the key is to be, is to, be authentic. Uh, and 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 that's what I think the band was and 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 still is and I and that's something I brought, if you like, to the second part of my career. If you like, is is understanding that that if you if you're not that, you'll never make it. You got to you you have to you have to have some kind of authenticity to you to really be the biggest or the best or whatever that means. So that's just you know and and. Anyone who's a follower and wants to be like somebody or sound like or or be influenced by, they, then you know they they they're, they're going to make a living, but it won't be the same thing. It won't last. That's really interesting. Yeah, because and also, becomes... yeah, and also, I, 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 please, you know, let me spout on here. <laughs> you know, there's, there's a fact that a, com you can, a computer can understand the analytics of a hit. Uh, you know, which is is happening these days. You know, it, it's um. That won't last either because you know zeros and ones. There's no there isn't soul and heart in it. That's so true. It's so true that the feeling in your music, the physicality of it, we lose that in electronica, don't we? I mean, there's there's a thing that happens that it doesn't translate the same way. Just the way I'd say seeing a band live is different from hearing a recording. Right. Yeah. That's, I mean, I look. I'm. I, I love what's happening. I love. The ideas, I, I think they're fantastic. However, you know, we're flesh and blood and, you know, there's no getting away from that. And a working brain and, a, and, and, a, and your <laughs> blood going through your arteries, it still means a great deal. And, and what what must you feel about uh, now the fact that your music is being performed by young people and being performed at schools and being performed by professional bands like Project? Um. <laughs> I think it's, uh, I, I'm, I'm very grateful and, and, and bewildered and uh, also happy that it, the music stood the test of time. I mean, I, I, when we were doing it, that wasn't the idea. We did it for, for the day and for the hour and for the minute, not for next year or 10 years or 20 years or 50 years or whatever it is. And, th and that's probably why it lasted, it was why it sounds, I guess, to a lot of people, still relevant. Yeah, you guys should have done more drugs. <laughs> that would well if we had done that, you wouldn't have heard any music at all. You know, heard you know good fun and probably people laughing and and snoring or God knows what else. But yeah, we didn't. Unfortunately, we were we, we were work workaholics. Yeah, uh, that's that must have been. But you see, that's the kind of thing now that, that that no one can take it away from you, and it's all on recorded. It's all tape. I, the tape don't lie, as they say. Well, I, I hope that I hope that's a good news. It really is, and and I just want to say from the fans, from from me, from everyone at the broadcast, Derek, thank you so much for Gentle Giant. Thank you so much for Derek Shulman and for the whole Shulman clan. <laughs> Thanks very much, man. It's good to speak to you. 
Yeah, Sorry. please please give my my best to to Ray and to Phil, and uh, and in fact, I'm going over. I'm going over in uh, a couple of weeks, and I'll I'll see them, and I'll say I'll I'll say what you said, and you know you gave me the best. Please, and if if they ever feel like talking, I I have open invitation to to any of those gentlemen to to come speak with me about this incredible music and the big impact you guys have had. I'll do that. Okay. Thanks very much, man. Thank you, everybody okay, for Greg. listening. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Derek Shulman, and uh, and everybody. And we'll see you next time.